Arcane episode motherfucker two. Oh my god. We're just gonna do it. So, okay, recording is going. I've got my audio. I can record the audio reaction and then we'll we'll deal with the rest. Hello, if you're watching this on YouTube, I have no idea what you're seeing right now. Um because I'm going to have to do something to, to to fuck with this to make it, you know. But I'm going to give you a countdown. I am on Netflix. I am on zero seconds, zero nothing, zero absolutely everything. I'm going to give you a countdown, YouTube. I'm going to say three, two, one, and then go. And on go, we're both going to press play, and then we're going to watch the episode. Um, there we go. So, and this this has been a chaos moment for me. My computer crashed. Um, I've been desperately trying to fix it. I'm streaming this into Discord to like a thousand people. I don't know how many fu how many fucking people are there in this thing right now. Four hundred five people. Yeah, cool. That's a that's many. That's a that's a, that's a that's a number. Um, which is which is people. Let's just do this. I'm I'm too frazzled to try and think through an intro for this. Three, two. One, go. You got that right, Jinx. Back into the river. Where he was born from, right? Like, Silco had this feeling that he was born from the river, right? Okay, episode two. Skip intro, fuck you. I need to do an animation breakdown of that intro. Wake up to the sounds of the silence that allows for my mind to run around. Put my ear up to the ground. I'm searching to behold the stories that are told. And my back is to the world. I was smiling when I turned. Tell you you're the greatest. Once you turn, they hate us. So Mel being pulled between two worlds, hands on all sides, and Beza with a black rose. Echo rewinding time. Mel in Ambessa's place, with Ambessa gone, almost like she's gonna die. Victor putting a mask on. Oh. Oh, flashback. Oh, it's the sucker. Yeah.
Lonely rose on your grave, you poor sucker. Bloodhounds keep coming. Sucker. All coveting his throne, yeah. <laughs> Pathetic. Long sucker. <gasps> there she is. Girl with the Timo hat. Factions, yeah. And Jinx caught between them. Why are they chasing that girl? And Jinx wants no part of it, right? She just wants out. Oh, those guys are about to get fucked. <laughs> yeah. Probably wondering how I ended up in this. Timo hat. I love him already. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, yeah, send him in, yes! <laughs> hey, I wonder who uses gas like that. I think it's one of the other Kembarans, honestly. I don't think it's Singed, but Singed might work for her for the moment. Ooh! 
Ooh, or what, um... Is that Warwick? Surely not. Savika. He had an encounter with something. <laughs> Right, because she doesn't have the arm anymore. Vi took it out. But we know that Savika is going to take a different option. Don't we? Yeah, Vi isn't the only one hitting the bottle, huh? Probably shouldn't do that drunk, all told. Oh, the thing. She's there. Oh, man. He 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 he. He's about to get fucked. <gasps> the kid. Oh, baby, don't get in the way. Sky. Oy. What a way to wake up, huh? Oh, he purple.
I don't know if you'll need that anymore. Oh boy. <gasps> oh. People are going to get so horny for that. Bet you he's not. By blood, yeah. Ooh. Look at Victor with the robe like Moses. <laughs> Grandpa Heimerdinger. He's having fun. Uh oh. Oh no. Yeah, you have. Ooh, 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 heist scene, heist scene. Look at him with his little mask. I need him to have a skin with that mask. He's having so much fun. Ha! 
Heimerdinger is getting to be his Yordle self now, too. Like, much more of the Yordle nature coming out. Hey, Jace. <laughs> Poor Jace, he's falling apart. <laughs> The fucking mug is still there. Yeah, how indeed. How indeed. Oh. Who's that's Jana. That was Jana. They were praying to Jana. Hey, it's our friend. Oh, fuck me running. This show is pretty. Oh, they're going to try and jump him, are they? That's going to be fun. Hey, Timo. For Savika. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, what's with the smoke monster thing? Holy shit, the animation on this. It must be Kim Baron people, right? Yeah. Wait, no. They ran into the fucking... Oh, it was the strike force. Clever.
the goggles. I'm so tense. Jinx is gonna get out of this and run right into the fucking Chem Baron. The mirroring. The way that this mirrors episode two of season one, or episode one, I think. Get it together, Caitlin. Right, so now the chem guys are gonna jump her. It helps that she's gas-weakened already, I guess. <laughs> a little present. Make her a champion!
Hui. The kid. I love her. <laughs> That's a Timo shroom. You can't tell me this isn't advertising a champion. Oh, uh, he's still alive somehow. See, this is why I think there's fucking time travel going on. Where did those footprints come from, huh? I know, it's probably just the... The hex core doing shit. Who's having feelings about Victor right now? I think it's a lot of you. It was Victor. Glorious evolution. I think he even got younger.
So it was Victor making them too. I knew it. Liturgical music says the un subtitles. <laughs> yeah, you could make a religion out of this. Look at his eyes. Hey, Sky. He is the Messiah. The fucking walking cane has gotten like four times as long. Absolute Moses shit. This'll be fine. Nothing bad will come of this. Warwick. <gasps> Merc wolves. The music. Yeah, meet the medic. <laughs> <laughs> now, most hearts would not be able to assist Antis Voltage, but I'm fairly certain your heart... <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Okay. I guess that was, an, that, that was an episode. Have we been here for 38 minutes already? Fuck me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, watch creds, please. Okay. You cannot go pee yet, because I... <laughs> I mean, you can. I can't stop you, but there's so much... People are going to be having feelings. Like, people are going to be in their feelings about v Victor here. My goodness gracious. <laughs> the amount of angsty fix-it fix on AO3. With the hair all disheveled down over his face. And, like, tired. And with this weird, freaky, half-metal body. And he can literally just touch you and change you. Oh no, yeah, people are gonna, people are gonna have some, yeah. Mm -hmm. And his voice sounds weird. Yeah, they gave him Garrus voice. They gave him Garrus voice with the flanging and like the sort of the sort of doubling. This is this is gonna cause some problems. This is this is going to cause people to to change some things about their lives. Right, and like. Jace, you did promise to destroy the Hex Core. You did promise. Buddy boy. I was supposed to be your boyfriend. This whole time I was meant to be having hot gay sex with you. I get it now. <laughs> They're just friends, you know. It's it's just friendship. Um, they're just pals. Uh, yeah, just just normal friends who have normal friend feelings about each other entirely. Uh, I don't I don't really know why anyone sees a queer reading of this. I think I think people are reading way too much into it. Um, it's honestly like I think people are just too eager 
to see uh, those things in perfectly heterosexual platonic relationships uh, that never go any deeper than that. And it's it's very silly uh, because of, of how straight they are with each other all the time. I have never seen more straight behavior between two men in my entire life than one guy saying, I realized I was wrong to be dating my girlfriend and sitting on the council and stuff. I should have been here in the lab with you being sweaty and together all the time, together, just with you together. And the other guy saying, like... What held us together was affection for one another in a tone of voice that suggests a breakup. Yeah, no, I, it's like that. I feel like that's just a normal thing. I do that with my straight friends all the time. It's every Thursday we get together and sort of talk about how we, we should definitely be together. And then we tell each other, oh, the only thing holding us together was bonds of affection. And then we walk away. And it's it's a straight normal activity that straight men do. It's like going to the lake or playing football or having beers. Like, it's, it's it's not romantic. Every single fucking still of, every frame of this fucking show, by the way. Every frame of this. Is so, I need to see Heimerdinger's invention. Because that's a hex turret. That's a fucking hex turret. He turned a hex turret into a little bubble blaster for the kids. Okay, we need to go Jenna. Jana, there she is. So for those who don't know the lore of this, by the way, long, 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 long ago, back when Jana was first created, she was a mage from Zaun. That was specifically her story. She was a mage from Zaun who eventually sort of lived in Piltover, and she had control of, of a bunch of wind magic, but she used it for science things. She was like a Zeppelin pilot, and she like, sailed in races and stuff, right? Um, then eventually that got retconned, like, it got, got retconned like 14, 15, like many times they sort of changed and messed with it. Eventually she got turned into a wind god, right? A wind goddess. Specifically, she was a wind goddess of Shurima, um, where she was a goddess of sailors, and a fisherman who was like a goddess of good winds and fresh air, like like the goddess of the winds, the goddess of the air, who gave them like good winds on their journeys home, etc. etc. Then in the lore, what happens is Piltover is trying to dig a canal between two oceans, and then they can sit at the at the center of that canal and like get all the trade money that comes through that canal. Something goes wrong there, though. They set a bunch of like explosive charges to try and dig out the canal. Cause a huge earthquake, cause, like, massive pollution, everything gets fucked up. That's the creation of Zaun, is when they fuck up this construction project and creates, like, this this poisoned undercity where no one can reasonably live. When that happens, the people of Zaun pray to Janna for salvation. And they pray so powerfully that she actually manifests in Zaun as the goddess of fresh air, like the goddess of clean air, and helps them against the poisons and the fogs and the smog down there, and becomes like a patron deity of the people of the Undercity because of her power to bring clean air. And so since then, in the main League of Legends canon, she has been a goddess of Zaun, like associated with Zaun, someone that they pray to, and who protects the Undercity from like from like toxic air. So that's why Janna is here, <laughs> um, and why they're praying to her there, presumably. Right, and you can see they're burning incense and stuff, which is like also like about cleansing the air, right? And there's Vestaya down here too. Again, assumingly, assuming they're Vestaya, maybe they're not Vestaya. Who knows? Riot hasn't really clarified what the animal people in Piltover in Arcane are. Um, they might not be Vestaya. Not every animal person in League of Legends is, but most of them are. Yeah, Victor has been absent from the Undercity for a while, huh? The fact that it's the fucking strike team using that gas. 
I mean, it's clearly not lethal gas, right? Like, it's it's gas that, like, knocks people out, but still. Also, the fucking, this fucking smoke cloud, the way this bit... This fucking... What kind of dark fucking magic? What kind of sorcery? Did they do? Because, like, a bunch of it is 2D animation, traditional 2D animation, clearly, but... There's some fucking... They must be doing some 3D fuckery on top of that. They must be, right? This can't be fully hand at The Fuck you if this is fully hand animated. Fuck you. Because, like, lots of effects, there's lots of post-processing, there's lots of all kinds of shit they're doing to it, but... Yeah, they're overlaying a texture... ...of, like, an oil sort of matting texture that... ...is moving perpendicular to the flow of motion of the thing. Oh my god, what a fucking visual effect. It's like fiddlesticks coming at them, man. And the way that this reflects the encounter that Powder and Vi have the, with the Enforcers in this exact same location in Season 1. That's grim, man. I've talked about this a million times in my videos. Character design, right? You hide the eyes of the person to dehumanize them, to make them monstrous, right? To, to hide their humanity. That's what the Enforcers always do with their fucking masks when they come to the Undercity. Now they're doing it to Vi. Like, from Jinx's perspective, this is Vi coming like a fucking nightmare smoke monster to haunt her. Not fucking helped by the gas, I'm sure. And she still can't. Right? Even despite everything, she still can't. We'll get to episode three. I'm sorry. This is how it's gonna be. I don't... You think I have control of this? You think this is up to me? <gasps> and Caitlyn with the itchy trigger finger, right? Caitlyn can't handle. Not being able to, well, kill Jinx, basically. Not, not being able to, like, externalize her grief with violence. She's never had to deal with this before, of course. Caitlyn hasn't lived in the Undercity. She doesn't know what it's like to routinely have your family die. In front of you. This fucking scene, too. She's flipping between Powder and Jinx here. Powder Jinx, Powder Jinx, Powder Jinx. And Jinx with the scream, like, oh. I don't know that I'm a fan of this fight scene necessarily. Like, um, mostly because it feels so much like this is advertising a fucking champion. I think it's cool. It looks fucking amazing in motion, right? It's, it's just with the gambling mechanic and the random ability that comes out and, like... I'm not 100% sure this is about the storytelling for Sivika. Or whether this is about setting us up for Sivika as a champion in League of Legends. And if it's setting us up for Sivika as a champion in League of Legends, it's gonna annoy me a little bit, because that's what I didn't want to have happen. I don't want Arcane to be a fucking marketing vehicle for League of Legends champions, right? So, it, mm, I'm, I'm a little worried about that. It might just be there was cool visuals. Maybe it'll come back, like, be important episodes three, like, act two or three. But I don't want this to be a commercial for Savika the Champion. Fucking Moses ass with the blue cloak like you're the fucking Virgin Mary too, motherfucker, religious prophet. Interestingly, the way his hand animates, right, like this jerky kind of like, like, unsteady motion.
and the fucking church music and the choir and shit. These patterns, too. Because look at the look at the way the energy flows here, right? It's flowing out of Victor into him. Which is not how it happened when Victor touched the hex core, if you remember. When Victor was touching the hex core and it was like eating of him, it all of the energy flowed into the hex core. This is Victor pouring something of himself into all of them. And the patterns here remind me of the patterns we saw the first time Victor sacrificed blood to the hex core. Literally fucking angel posing. So it's Victor who's creating them. And the eyes, the eyes. We need to fucking, the fucking, the, the, uh... We get a close-up on Victor's face here. Look at the fucking eyes. The way they're changing colors, the way they're, like... The rainbow coloration on it. Sky! How you doing, girl? You look... Different. You look different a little bit, don't you? A little different. Not just in the way that you carry yourself. A less, le du less dusty. Yeah, no, less dusty. Definitely. I am... The question I have on my mind right now is like, is that Sky? Is that her? Are we 100% sure that's her? Or is that the voice that the Hex Core is speaking with? and the image that it's showing to Victor in order to push him towards. Because the thing Victor wants most of all right now is redemption for what he did to Sky. I swear to God, by the way, that, that cane is becoming longer. It's getting longer and longer. It wasn't that long when he first left Jace. Okay, so with these... We're doing rule of threes here, so Warwick is going to show up in the next episode. We've had two, like... We've had two things of, like, Singed doing stuff to get parts for him. Eyeballs, fangs, tongs. What's on the fucking pieces of paper? I'm craning my neck to see. <laughs> Very meet the medic. So he wanted the double heart from the Merc Wolves. Yeah, it's blueprints for the claw and, like, the little reactor thing on his back. And he wanted the double heart from the Merc Wolves to power Warwick. Okay. Right, okay. I'm gonna need to edit this substantially before I can put it online. So, I don't know when these are gonna go up on the YouTube channel. But, uh... <laughs> fucking, let's go! Okay, 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 I'm gonna end the recording.